Hello everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Travis Garrison, and uh, first thing I want to do is honor my creator, give him all the honor, glory, and praise. He's been with me every day of my life, as I've said many times. Um, so I, I found some things that were interesting to me, and they might be interested, in, you know, to you too. So um, I'm gonna get try to make this short video. Still ain't feeling real good this morning, but anyway, here we are. Um, I want to read this, read this from the Word of God, um, a scripture, a couple of scriptures. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees told Jesus, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But he replied to them, An evil and adulterous generation craves a sign, yet no sign will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Because just as Jonah was in the stomach of the sea creature that seed us in the constellations, the heavens is like, when you go back to, and research the Hebrew, um, the alphabet, you might say, the picture language, um, it shows a tent, that God is a tent, you know, like you camp in. Um canvas they call it um you know it's up in the sky it's a canvas it's like a painting the sky is like a painting that gives you um signs and i'm going to go over that in just a second here but um i was going to show you this before i go any further i was born on 9 8 1961 at 23 55 p.m There's an asteroid called Jonah Butler, right at the womb of Virgo. We all came from this womb right here. If you understand the, the, why all the credit cards, the car companies and stuff, use a symbol of the vesica Pisces, the circles overlapping themselves. It's the womb. It is the womb, the vesica of Pisces. This is a representation of that womb, all where we come from, the womb of the woman. But when I was born, if you go research it, uh, Mars is the red dragon. Let me see if I got something up here first. Um, Elon Musk has told us that Mars is a red dragon. In the interlineal Greek, let me get read this first. Um, here is a word for word translation in the Greek. And it was seen a, a other sign into the heaven, and you see snake. That was the original word, snake. When you get down here, it talks about a sea monster. Uh, Cetus and I've showed you on my if you go back and watch my videos about Cetus saying I'm the one that represents the crushing of the head of the snake on this earth I've got an image of a king on my thumb uh, you know that I ain't saying that proudly or anything like that I'm just saying that God put me here to do a specific work and I'm going to do it and I'm saying I'm the sign of Jonah because on my birthday, 1969, 8, 1961, Jonah, Butler means, um, God added adjectives to these to describe the, 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 the comets and stuff for signs. The moon is for signs and seasons and feast days. Moed is the Hebrew word for feast days. Mars was at the womb right here, the red dragon, the snake, waiting on me to be born, you know. I mean, and this is, I'm going to show you that um, this Nishimura, let's see where it was at when I was born. It's went through the scales of justice. 
So let's go on up here to the Revelation 12 sign. 2017. Nishimura is being born the same time. Nishimura I mean the guy that discovered this comet was named Hideo Nishimura. They named it after him. The name Nish, uh, Hideo means man child. And there's Jupiter being born, and so they ain't nobody showed you. You know, they got the hourly watch guy and all that, which they're real good. You know, I mean, they're, I don't agree with them on everything because the, this, the image that they show you that's got all them asteroids around it, I ain't saying it's real. I ain't saying it's fake. I'm just saying I, I research it out before I really promote anything. But when I, on the 2017 sign, let me find it here right quick. This was once in 7,000 years, 23rd of September, 2017. All these, Jupiter was born on 9-8 that day. Come across the womb in 9-8. Well, Nishimura means man-child. Or Hadio means man-child. Let's see. It was born the same time. It's showing you the man-child. This, the whole sign of 2017, was about the man-child. It wasn't about Jesus Christ because when you read the first book of Revelation, it says, "I'm going to show you these things." To it was telling John, "These must come hereafter." This is I'm showing you this that must come up, must come now after now. You, and I didn't pull that Bible verse up, but y'all can research it out. Um, it was a prophetic sign for the future. Okay. Jonah Butler. The Butler means, let's see what Butler means. The chief male servant. That's what Butler means. Like, um, was on the Heaven's Golden Gate. But let's get back to Nishimura. Nishimura is born the same at the same time. So that's God pointing a sign, uh, more than one sign to you that this is the man child, Jupiter, is represents the king, the man child, or the prince. Let's go to now. Nishimura is the man child, is in Sagittarius, the rider on the white horse of Revelation chapter 12 or 6. And also of Revelation 12, the child being born. But, and the reason I think these are, God told Daniel to shut up the books until the time of the end, and, and t until the time of the end, and then when the books will be open, information, technology would increase. You would, knowledge will increase. So that's what's happening right now. In the canvas above us, and I was taught to not look at the stars. But let's see here what how many verses there are about the stars in heaven and the moon. Just let's just, just say the moon. Well, let me go here to the Blue Letter Bible. All right. I think it's verse 16. All right. Verse 16. 
And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. Let's see what rule means. In the Greek. I mean in the Hebrew. Rule. Memsaya. Dominion. Government. Power. Let's see the biblical usage of that word. To rule dom dominion realm. Dominion govern power to rule. To rule. That's what it means. So the moon is to rule at night and the stars. The sun's to rule at the day. I've you ever heard me say that. A lot of the physicists and stuff say that if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in, word, think in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy. That's what's ruling us, is the frequency, vibration, and energy that the, the moon is ruling by night. They're emitting a frequency, vibration, and energy. They're ruling, they're, they rule our way of thinking. Now let's get back over here too. So the stars and the comets are signs. And I was it was a dirty word to look up at the stars in the sky. But God said, I'll always provide a second witness and third witness sometimes. So we got the word of God and we was told not to stray away from that, to not look at the stars, not read the story that God wrote in the heavens, because the, the, the heavens declare the glory and the night uttereth speech. That's that frequency coming to us, that the vibrations and the energy that's being emitted from those stars and the moon and the sun. And uh, so, and the reason I think we're really, you know, these are signs. A sign points to a future, a future event. So I want to go right here. I want to show you a couple more I've showed y'all. Elijah Mina. Elijah from Mina. That's me. I was born in Mina, Arkansas. The, the, if you put in Mina in a Gematria, Hebrew Gematria calculator, it's 33. See where Elijah Mina is? It's going into the scales of justice. But that ain't all. God provided another witness with this right here. Moses Mendel. Look where it's at. It was right there with Elijah and the scales of justice. The name Mendel means just. See, God has added, uh, added these names at some time or another. When they named this, this asteroid, it, was, it just so happened to line up correctly with... What I'm saying, folks, is you can decode this system. I don't care what anybody says. You get a Hebrew calculator, Gematria calculator, and the Strong's concordance, and you can decode the system. I've decoded a lot of it, and um, just like this right here. But for the people whose doubts that I say I am, who I say I am, I'm going to go to. Uh, there's also a comet, a asteroid with my last name. Right now, it's on the ox, the strong one. But I want to go to my birthday. 9-8-2025. I'm going to go two years to my birthday. There's Mars right there again in that womb. There's my asteroid on my birthday. Right there coming out of the womb of of the of israel that's really who that is the womb is israel if you're a child of god you come from this womb i don't care if you was born in gemini taurus or whatever so um y'all see where mars is at right at the womb that's the red dragon um
Perseverance Mars rover spots weird snake, head rock, and balance and boulder. Y'all see the head of the snake sticking out there. Supposedly, this is a fake picture, but, you know, they're showing you that Mars is the snake, like I read over here in the interlineal. And it was seen, other sign, into the heaven you see snake, which means dragon, serpent. You know, when you break the words down and you see what they represent, one represents another. If you see the word in the Bible, like sea monster, down here it says aquatic, if I can find it right quick. Biblical snakes are usually aquatic, meaning water. The sea serpent, Cetus. And I showed y'all that I'm the one that represents the crushing of the head. I'm not Jesus Christ or anything like that, like a lot of people think they are. They're, they're accessing memory cells that's from the bloodline of Jesus. Because when Mary, even if Jesus didn't get married and have kids, uh, 6 to 10% of his blood stayed in the mother Mary. And the offspring, the offspring of the woman still had Jesus' blood in them, the DNA. And it trans, and it, it filtered. I mean, it in Mary's offspring still had Jesus' blood inside of her. her. His DNA was inside of her. That transferred down through her offspring. Anyway, let's go back over here. This is on my birthday, nine, nine, eight, or nine, nine. I was born, the universal time was nine, nine. The time I was born was nine, eight at 23.55 p.m. Fixing to turn to nine, nine. Let's go to my birthday. Nine, 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 nineteen. Well, that's, let me go up. I had my signature, I've showed y'all that, is Capricorn. Excuse me just for a second. That's the day I was conceived. I was conceived on 11 8, 1960. On 9 8, I was. If you see this Orion, we've been taught that it's Nimrod. That's a big lie. I've showed I've done a video on this. It's pointing and looks like an arrow at the head of Cetus, the sea monster. That's who Orion is. Let's see where Nishimura was. It's come out of this justice going into Scorpio. But there's a lot more to this. When you re start researching it out, the infant knowledge is there's so much knowledge in the stars of heaven and the sun, moon, and stars that it's uh, unreal. You know, you, you get so much information, you can't, you can't give it all. You know, I mean, it's just so much. When you start looking these, these up, like uh, Vesta is another asteroid. It's in the head, the strong one. There's a lot of information that's hard to understand in all this, but um, I 
okay, Jupiter was on, at the Golden Gate of Heaven. Vesta was means the, the, the light. Vesta means the light. Jupiter was headed into the rider on the white horse, coming from the Golden Gate of Heaven the night I was conceived. The Golden Gate of Heaven is right here. It's 267 frequency on the ecliptic. Saturn, Satan, is here in, by the rider on the white horse. For everyone that says that the rider on the white horse is the Antichrist, you need to research it out in the Greek, in the Strong's Concordance. It tells you it's pure white. No darkness to it whatsoever. I'm just saying, folks, I am who I say I am. I ain't saying it boastfully. I ain't saying it proudly because I'm a servant of the Most High. And um, I intend to fulfill. I'm the representative of the last Adam, really. Jesus was the second Adam. He was the correct one. I'm not. The... I represent it, though. That's just showing that how Jesus came and corrected our sins. He's the one that paid the price. And uh, I've got an image on my thumb. It's called Signet. It comes from my DNA. I don't wear a ring like old print King Charles, a fake ring that's a Signet, because he's got a Signet ring on his hand. And, and another thing, folks, when Queen the Queen died, she died on, let me look that up right quick. They're showing you the real king. They know who I am. Queen Elizabeth passed away September the 8th. Wow, on my birthday. It's telling God is telling you this information, showing us this information. I mean, there's a lot more to it. I mean, I've, I've decoded it so much that, that I know who I am. You know, and not only that, God was with me at five years old. I was talking to him when I was five years old. I talked to him every day just because I didn't blurt it out to people. Just because I didn't push Bible verses down, you don't mean that I didn't talk to God. I was hidden. I was born on a new moon. I was conceived on a new moon in the conjunction of uh, Jupiter and Venus. Venus is the bright and morning star. Jesus Christ. And, and, and if I've got it figured correctly, Satan vacated his spot. In, in the order. So there was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And then Satan was one of the top angels, the fourth. Satan was the fourth most powerful being created. I mean, the, well, really the first. What I'm saying <coughs> that Satan vacated this spot and I'm taking it back. I don't care what it takes. I want to thank y'all for coming to this channel. It looked like my mic got turned off, so hopefully what I was saying is that Satan vacated his position in the order of the government of God. And I'm gonna I'm the one that's gonna fill that spot. Jesus Christ was the answer. He was the second Adam. There's a representative of the, of the last Adam because God said, I'm going to declare the end from the beginning. We're well, going back to a thousand year, year millennium like it was almost in the Garden of Eden. It's not going to be quite like the Garden of Eden because there's still going to be humans here on earth that has a little bit of a sin nature left in them. Not much. It's not going to be because God separates the light from the darkness. And, folks, when you see that yin-yang symbol, it's showing half white and half black. Um, that's a deception. Kind of. It's not equal. Darkness is not the opposite of light. Darkness is the absence of light. The light shone in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That's why people can't understand me. I came from the, the golden gate of heaven, the pure light. God had done separated the darkness from the light. And darkness is the absence of light, not the opposite. It, it does not have equal power. There's a many scriptures about the light. Jesus said, if you walk in the darkness, you're not of me. 
So we have to get rid of anything. We have to struggle to, we have to, we have to fight to get rid of the darkness. You know, that's part of the whole, whole plan. Jesus made it, Jesus fixed it where we could. Man could not uphold the laws of, you know, the, the righteous laws of God until Jesus came. Then man started, because folks, when Noah landed on Mount Ararat, Ararat means reverse the curse. Noah's the one that got it started of reversing the curse. And it had to travel down through generations till we get to Yeshua, Jesus Christ. That's his name, Yeshua or Yahshua in the Hebrew. So what I'm saying is that Noah started the reverse, really, and Jesus corrected it. And now we're in the stepping stones of going back to the beginning. And for everyone that wants to doubt me, that's fine. You have a free will to believe whatever you want to believe. But the path is straight and narrow, and few be that find that path, folks. And you and and when you research um, about your children, the age of accountability in the Bible is t around 20 years old. And sometimes I think it's 25, and sometimes it might be 18 or 17, because some kids uh, mature faster than others, and some don't. So I'm not going. I'm not the judge of that. I'm just telling you the Word of God says 20 years old. Some some people say it's 12 or 13. There's no way that the age of accountability is 12 or 13 years old. There's no way. Not even 16, really, because you look at the world today, and and God's a just God, so He's going to do ju the right thing. So what I'm what I'm trying to say is, I guess that your DNA. The Apostle Paul says that your, your children fall under your the parent one of the parents' DNA. If one of the parents' DNA is accepted Jesus Christ as their sacrifice, because we live in a the spiritual world became a sacrificial system when this Adam and Eve fell. There had to be a shedding of blood to cover the sins. God killed the first animal. And it shed blood, and he wrapped the skin around Adam and Eve, the the animal skin around Adam and Eve to cover them. It was that blood that covered their sins until Jesus Christ could come along, and which was God in the flesh. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh, came here as God in the flesh, and re, he purchased us back because we fell into Satan's domain we handed over our adam handed over the keys to heaven really to satan satan became the ruler then over the earth god says he's the prince of the power of the air so noah started a reversal jesus finished it jesus on the cross jesus said it is finished that's what he was talking about. It is finished. I paid the price to redeem my father's children back into where they belong, heaven. I want to thank you all for coming to this video. I hope everyone has a great day. I don't know if this, I made this, you know, hopefully you understand what I was trying to say about the signs in the heavens. Um, and one other thing I want to talk about is that in the, in the earlier translations, of Genesis, it says God's spirit fluttered over the face of the deep, not moved, but fluttered. Okay, God gave us chickens and roosters to understand a little bit about creation. When those wings, I mean, God can transform into anything He wants to an eagle with wings. And He flutters like the wings flutter and creating a vibration and an energy over the face of the deep but it took both because here's what happened folks you have to research this stuff out i mean god says search out a matter you don't have to believe me go research it out that there had to be the holy spirit was labeled feminine and in, in um 
until 900 years ago. The Vatican changed that to masculine so they could think, make you think the man was the complete ruler over everything. Now, I'd, I'd, well, the egg, a chicken can lay an egg. A female chicken, a feminine chicken can lay an egg, but it cannot produce an offspring until the rooster flutters his wings on top of that hen and and fertilizes that egg. So it took the the male and the the masculine and the feminine to create creation. Some people call Mother Earth the because uh, we came from the dust of the earth. We're kind of born out of the dirt, folks. We're born in God says we we were created from red clay, the dust of the earth. And I don't view it the same way. You know, some people call it guy, the earth guy, which, um, you know, I, I kind of dispute that a little bit because of their terminology. But in a sense, it's true that we came from the dust of the earth. I mean, you ha you really have to search out matters because I promise you, your church, there's 66,000 different denominations across the world. And none of them can get along with each other. They all disagree. You know why? Because the, you're a branch from the Vatican. The very first church was a Catholic. I mean, I call it Catholic. Was from St. Peter. The Apostle St. Peter. Jesus said, I'll build my church on the rock. I'll build my church on the st a stone, which was Peter. Petra, that's what the name is in Greek, Petra, Peter. You're a branch off of, from, we, uh, the church I went to was a branch from the Vatican. It turned it into the Vatican, I should say. Now, the first church re really wasn't wrong, like the Vatican is. But, anyway, I want to thank y'all for coming to my video. I hope everyone has a great day. Y'all see the screen Queen Elizabeth died on September the 8th on my birthday. I mean, I've showed y'all all the evidence. There's nobody can show you any videos like I've created. Every one of my videos are true. The th pictures you see on them are true. I ran into Jezebel in Fort Smith, Arkansas in a spirit field. I got a picture of it. God says the prince of the power of the air, Satan is. And um, I seen a spirit field up there. I was actually taking a picture of a tag, 177, because that's kind of where I was born. And when I did, I, I'd shine my camera out my, my out the my windshield, and I seen these look like spots on the windshield, and I thought, well, my well, my windshield's dirty. So I rolled down my window and I took the picture out of the side of my window, and I still seen them spots. And when I brought my took my looked at the pictures, I seen those orbs. My my camera took a picture of those orbs, and it was a reflection from the air. The prince of the power of the air that was on the side of that shiny pickup of Jezebel holding a guy bound down. And uh, it took me a long time to under, really understand it. I knew it was Jezebel when I seen the picture because of the chains, of the mask on her face around her eyes. Y'all can go back to my videos and see that. Not only that, folks, I got a video of Satan growling at me. I was recording a star. I could hear people screaming and stuff from that star. And Satan started growling at me because I'm the most hated person on this earth. There's one more, I think, according to this right here. Uh, let's go. I want to go back here and show you this one more time about um, judgment coming to this earth. Because Elijah was a type of judgment. Moses was a type of judgment. I mean, you, Pharaoh, he sent 10 plagues on the Pharaoh and them because they wouldn't let people. And another thing about this Nishimura, uh, the children of God were held slaves for 430 years. Nishimura, it's the first time we've got to see, the last time we've seen Nishimura, or somebody seen Nishimura was 430 years ago. Now it's showing up in the womb of Virgo.
there's Elijah going into the scales of justice, judgment, and so is Moses. The represented now these represent Moses and Elijah. The stars do, because God, if you if you read what happened to Abraham, God said, "Look up at the stars. That'll be your um, descendants. Those stars, those spirits. It's in those stars." See, they're both going into the scales of justice. Some people say it's the two witnesses. I don't believe that, but I may be wrong on that. You know, I don't believe Elijah and Moses. Moses done died once. Elijah was raptured once. And then John the Baptist died once as Elijah. So they have completed their course back in a... And we are incarnations of these... If if you're from the children of God, we are incarnations of Elijah, Adam and Eve, uh, all the way back to Adam and Eve. We, our ancestors, our memory cells, we have that in our DNA. We can access its doorways. We can access those doorways and get information from them. And uh, some of them you don't want to access because, folks, all of our ancestors wasn't good. You know, so the best, I always said, play it. I always been the type to say it's better safe than sorry. So, I don't trust no one except my Creator. You know, that's what just what God put in my heart. He may let you uh, trust all your ancestors. I don't know. I mean, I don't say it's wrong. I, I don't know that. But there's some of my ancestors, I'm sure I don't want to access their memory in from my DNA. Because, folks, the Bible's all about DNA. Jacob's ladder was a picture of a... I believe it was a triple helix DNA because angels were ascending and descending. So it looked like it had to be two ladders. And if you look at the structure of DNA, it looks like one ladder. So if they were ascending and descending, there had to be two sides. And the only way you could have two sides was to have a third strand of DNA for a ladder up and a ladder down. When you go to Genesis... If you read it backwards, you'll see the word and is DNA spelt backwards. That's the way God said, I'll create the, I'll determine the end from the beginning. And uh, the Capricorn signature is half fish and half man or half goat or half sheep. It's showing you there is a third stranded DNA people coming awake on this earth and they're trying to stop it. That's why all the stuff happened a couple years ago is to try to stop this awakening from people that's got the children of god because satan always mimics what happened in the garden what happened in noah the days of noah all of mankind got corrupted with fallen angel dna a third strand dna satan was trying to counterfeit god's creation so he did it all the people that drowned in the flood was third-stranded DNA people that had got corrupted their DNA, Satan had corrupted their DNA. God knew it was going to happen from the foundations of the earth. That, and Jesus was planned from the foundation, before the foundations of the earth. So you have to um, realize that God was not an unjust God. God says, I'm a jealous God. And here's how I look at that. God's my Father. He created me. My body belongs to Him. It don't belong to me. But... Um, if you're a father and you got a little boy or a little girl and they're four or five years old, but they like another person's father better than you, you're kind of jealous. There's a righteous jealousment, folks. There's a righteous anger. There's a righteous, there's just counterfeits of it. Satan is the counterfeiter now. And uh, so I don't know if I've, if you understand what I'm saying or not, you know, but um, God is a serious God. And God is just a title. His name is El Elyon, the Most High. And uh, when you look at Elon Musk, that's what his name is, Elon. Elon. And um, that's a counterfeit of God. And, you know, some people think he's an antichrist. Uh, I think it's Prince. I, anyway, it's... I'm, it, I'm saying it could be because he's got a plan for half the world with his X app. Um, but I want to show you something right here.
Prince William. Prince William owns Serco, a company in the United States that owns 80% of everything. Queen, that their household owns 6.6 billion acres of land. Land is power, folks. And this guy was born, and Prince Charles is already saying he's thinking about turning over the kingdom to him, to Prince William. He was born on June 21st, 1982. Let's see. 1982. Everybody knows that Saturn, the, the star, they call it a planet, star Saturn stands for Satan. I got in trouble by somebody putting a comment on my, site, my uh, video that said, Saturn, you said Saturn is a strict teacher. Yeah. He's Satan. And he's going to teach you a lesson if you ain't got Jesus Christ by your side. Even if Jesus Christ is by your side, you're going to be taught. Folks, this earth is our test. God is the landlord. Jesus Christ is the landlord of the, this whole earth. He, he's fixing to take it back over. Mars, which means war, on the woman, on Israel. There's this is this is Prince William right here. Let me go back and make sure I got the date right. Twenty one. Okay, folks, Jupiter is in this equation too, but Jupiter's out of the womb. This is when he was born, Prince William. Mars, the red dragon's there, and Saturn, Satan's there. Prince William came out of this womb. It looks to me like Satan is being born right there. I've accused Donald Trump of it, but I think Donald Trump is he could either because he's born on a blood moon an omen donald trump was born on a blood moon well donald trump could just be preparing the way like elijah because they mimic everything every story in the bible they are mimicking account they're making a counterfeit and this here right here is almost enough evidence for me to say that it's prince william but i ain't going to make that statement yet but that is strong evidence right there that Saturn, which stands for Satan, is in the womb of Israel, coming out of Israel. And I, I mean, this, this guy's telling us a story, folks. I mean, friends, it's telling us a story. And um, when you start getting researching it out, you'll start seeing the patterns. You'll start seeing the that we live in a matrix that can be de decoded through the Hebrew gematria. And there's a couple of people on there that say it's a bunch of made-up numbers and stuff. That's just not true. You, you'll never understand God until our Creator, until you understand the science of our creation. Thank you all for coming to this video. I done made it too long. I hope everyone has a great day.